All right, good morning. Happy Thursday, wherever you are today. It is a great day already. I don't know where you are. I don't know what state you're in. I don't know what uh, condition you are in spiritually. I do know this, the Lord loves you. I know this, the Lord is committed to you. Good morning, everyone that's joining us this morning, on this Thursday morning. Let me say this. Let me ask you, where are you today? Good morning, Kelly. I want you to know God is with you wherever you are. So where are you? Are you frustrated? God is there. Are you lonely? God is also there. Are you grieving? God is there. Are you joyful? God is there. Are you worried? God is there. Good morning, Bree Cowan. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Wherever you are today. Now listen, here's a uh, kind of a picture for you. Sometimes when my wife and I are walking, I, I walk a little faster. and Sometimes I get out ahead of her and I have to stop and wait for her to catch up. It's just a, a bad habit. But listen, wherever you are today, God is there. He's not a half mile down the road waiting for you to catch up. He's not going, come on, hurry up and get here. No, he's with you every step of the way, no matter where you are today. If you're grieving, he's with you. If you're frustrated, he's with you. If you're joyful, he's with you. If you're worried and anxious, he's with you. He's walking with you today. He doesn't abandon you. He doesn't go ahead of you. He doesn't get frustrated because you're not where you think you should be. He's with you every step of the way. All right. God bless you this morning. It is a great Thursday already. Good morning, Brittany. Great to see you today. Here Today is officially God promises to fight for us Thursday. God promises to fight for us Thursday. We've been talking about the promises of God the last few days. What a great promise that God fights for us. We're not fighting for ourselves. God is fighting for us this morning. And, and here's the reality, friends. We have all kinds of spiritual enemies. And every day, it seems like, good morning, Shirlene. Great to see you this morning. Every morning, it seems like we're, we're fighting some spiritual opponent. My, my question is, who's your spiritual opponent today? Who is your spiritual enemy today? We battle discouragement sometimes, don't we? We battle fear and anxiety. We, we battle doubts about our salvation. We have spiritual doubts in our lives. We, we battle, sometimes we battle apathy and complacency. We're not feeling it. We, we're not motivated. Sometimes we battle our children's attitudes. Come on, somebody. You may, be, you may be battling their attitudes right now. Sometimes we battle depression. Sometimes we battle physical weakness. Sometimes we battle mental fatigue. We're just worn out mentally. Sometimes we battle jealousy. Sometimes we battle insecurity. Your spouse may not be a Christian. That's a battle. Your spouse may have hardened their heart against God. That's a battle that you endure regularly. We battle addictions. We battle sinful habits and thought patterns. We battle selfish and abusive people in our lives. Every day there's a battle. I don't know what your battle is today. I don't know what your enemy is today. But it usually feels like we're fighting those battles alone. Like it's just us against Satan, us against the forces of hell, us, us against all of our enemies. But that's not true. Scripture says, God fights for us. What a great promise. Let's look at the promises of God this morning, because you're in a battle. There's, there's some foe, there's some enemy, there, there's something that you are battling with today. Here's what Scripture says. Exodus chapter 15, verse 2. The Lord is my strength and my song. The Lord has given me victory. This is my God, and I will praise Him. My Father's God, and I will exalt Him. Listen, the Lord is a warrior. Yahweh is his name. The Lord is a warrior. What is his nature? To fight evil, to destroy darkness. The Lord is a warrior. Pharaoh's chariots and army he has thrown into the sea. The finest of Pharaoh's officers are drowned in the sea. The deep waters gushed over them. They sank to the bottom like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, smashes the enemy. In the greatness of your majesty, you overthrow all those who rise up against you, you unleash your blazing fury. It consumes them like straw. The Lord is a warrior. Yahweh is his name. He's fighting your opponent, your enemy, right now. All right, let's keep going this morning. 
Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 4 says this, For the Lord your God is going with you. He will fight for you against your enemies, and he will give you victory. He will fight for you against your enemies, and he will give you victory. Victory's on the way, friends. It's a promise of God that he's fighting for you today. How about 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15? Uh, God said, listen, all you people of Judah and Jerusalem, listen, King Jehoshaphat. This is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged by this mighty army, this huge oppo opponent that you're facing. For the battle is not yours, but God's. God has jumped into the battle today, friends. God has jumped into your battle. The battle's not yours. It's the Lord, Lord's, and he's fighting for you this morning. How about Psalm? Psalm uh, 34 Verses 17 to 19. The Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from all of their troubles, all of their enemies. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. The righteous person faces many troubles, many opponents, many enemies. The righteous face many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue every time. The Lord comes to the rescue every time. Psalm 44. Verses 1 to 8, Oh God, we have heard it with our own ears. Our ancestors have told us of everything you've done in their day, in days long ago. You drove out the pagan nations by your power. You gave all the land to your ancestors. You crushed their enemies. You set our ancestors free. <clears throat> they did not conquer the land with their swords. It was not their own strong arm that gave them the victory. <clears throat> it was your right hand and your strong arm and the blinding light from your face that helped them, for you love them. You are my king and my God. You command victories for Israel. Only, <clears throat> only by your power can we push back our enemies. Only in your name can we trample our foes. I don't trust in my bow. Don't, I don't count on my sword to save me. You are the one who gives us victory over our enemies. You disgrace those who hate us. Oh God, we give you glory all day long and constantly praise your name because you give us victory. Hey friends, I don't know what your enemy is today. I don't know what you're battling today. I do know this. The Lord is fighting for you today. He's on your side. He's bringing victory. He's giving you the power to overcome today. This is God promises to fight for us Thursday. What are you battling today? You're not battling alone. God's not 15 steps ahead of you saying, hey, deal with that on your own. He is with you. He is fighting right now for you. So how do we invite God to fight with us? Number one, we recognize that we can only, only overcome Satan's power through the power of Christ. We need God to battle with us. We're dependent on him. Number two, recognize that God hates evil and is committed to completely destroying it one day. God hates evil. He's going to completely destroy it one day, and he's working to destroy it in your life today. Number three, prayer is an invitation for God to fight. We pray, we invite, just like David said in Psalm 68, 1 and 2, Arise, O God, let your enemies be scattered. As smoke is driven by the wind, as wax melts before the fire, O oh God, drive away your enemies. It's an invitation in prayer. Lord, rise up, O oh God, let your enemies be scattered. Number four, be specific about the battle. Be specific about the battle and ask God to get involved today. What is your battle today? Lord, it's depression. Lord, it's, it's frustration. Lord, it's my spouse. They've hardened your heart. Lord, it's my kids today. Their, their attitudes are wonky. Their attitudes are, are resisting your plan and purpose for their life. What is it this morning? What is the enemy? We are, we are inviting the Lord to battle with us this morning. Can you, you ready to pray this morning? This is not listening to Jeff talk. This is a prayer meeting. This is you identify your battle. You identify your enemy. You pray with me. You ask God to get into, into the fray, into the battle, and begin to do work in your life. Amen. Here we go. Come on, friends. We declare this morning that God is a warrior. Yahweh is his name. God, you are a warrior. Your nature is to battle. Your nature is to conquer evil. Your nature is to overcome evil with good. So, Lord, we thank you this morning that you are fighting our darkness. Say that this morning, friends. Say, thank you, Lord that you are fighting the darkness that I'm involved with today. We announce this morning that victory belongs to the Lord. We announce this morning the battle is not ours, but the battle is the Lord's. We declare this morning, Lord, you are faithful in battle. You are faithful to walk with us. You are faithful to defeat our enemies, God, that would come against us in Jesus' name. We announce this morning that God rescues us 
from the enemy's power. We thank you for your word this morning, Lord, that, that, that many are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from all of them. Lord, you are involved in every battle we face today, and we give you praise and worship. Rise up, O God. Rise up, O God. Let your enemies be scattered, just like smoke is driven by the wind, just like wax melts before the fire. O God, melt our enemies down. Drive them like smoke away from our lives today in the powerful name of Jesus. We don't trust our own strength. We don't trust our own weapons. We trust the name of the Lord this morning. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. But we trust in the name of the Lord our God this morning. Tell the Lord that this morning. My trust is in you, O God. You are bringing defeat to my enemy today in Jesus' name. We announce this morning God is with us. We announce this morning God is fighting our battle for us. We are not alone this morning. We declare this morning our God has never been defeated. We declare this morning our, our God is undefeated in battle. He's never lost a battle. And we thank you, Lord, you're not going to lose this one. We thank you, Lord, you're fighting for us. We thank you on this Thursday that you promised to fight for us. You go to battle for us, God. We praise you this morning in Jesus' name. And everybody said, come on, everybody said, I don't know what your enemy is today. I don't know what you're battling today. But I'll, I do know this. God is with you, fighting for you right now to bring victory in your life in that area. What a great promise this morning, friends, that God fights for us. He hasn't left us alone. It is going to be a great Thursday today. You're going to walk in the victory of Christ. You're going to walk in the power of Christ, and you're going to see his hand working in your life. God bless you this morning, friends. Make it a good Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow morning.